The more that is uncovered, the more horrific Brazil's slave trading past is revealed to have been. About two million slaves landed at this wharf, now an archaeological site, between the 1760s and the 1830s. A few blocks away, Mercedes Guimarães was renovating her house in 1996 when she found bones, thousands of human bones. It turned out to be a mass grave containing the burnt bodies of thousands of slaves, those who had died after the long and arduous journey from Africa. People say there is no racism in Brazil, but there is. I discovered that racism in Brazil while fighting for this history. Mercedes' house is now this museum and research centre at the heart of the UNESCO award. Much of Brazil has never really recognised its African roots or marked its foundations in slavery. Many Afro-Brazilians are now saying it's about time the country did. Some of the argument is centred on this neighbourhood of Rio de Janeiro, now recognised as crucial to the debate. Brazil was the last country to officially abolish slavery in 1888. It had been vital to the coffee, sugar and gold industries. However, discrimination continues, perhaps best symbolised by President Michel Temer's all-white cabinet, or that black Brazilians still earn 40% less than their white colleagues. The way I see it, black people in Brazil are still slaves. We are still slaves to an historical process that keeps growing in the cities. 50% of the black population live in the favelas. Another 25% live in poor housing. Three quarters of the black population is poor, extremely poor. More than half of all Brazilians define themselves as being black or of mixed race. Well represented in the arts and in sport, many say they're viewed as second-class citizens. The award will give more strength to the Afro-descendants. It will give strength to us as Brazilians to recognize that a huge crime against humanity was committed here. Many here in Rio hope UNESCO's recognition of the country's brutal slave history will help more to understand race and tackle racism in today's Brazil. Daniel Schwein, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.